Hi and welcome to Freestyle Martial Arts. This is a short video to teach you 20 introduction steps which are perfect for all new students coming into our program prior to actually starting one of the lessons. I hope you enjoy it. It's easy, fun and safe to do. So let's start our induction program. First thing I want to teach you is how to bow. It's a formal martial arts way of saying hello, goodbye, and thank you. Uh, so let me show you how it's done. Feet come together, hands are open, hands come flat to the side, and we simply take a bow from there. That's how we take a bow. Nice and simple, I'll show you one more time. So we could go from here, we call this a tension stance, you don't need to remember that, but a tension, and then we take a bow. Next thing we'll show you is how to make a start or ready position. Take our feet shoulder width apart and they're going to get to turn the hands over and we're going to make a fist. Let me show you how that's done. So we're going to take the hands nice and wide open, curl your four fingers in super tight and place the thumb on top. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. Let me show you one more time. Open hands up, curl the four fingers in, thumb on top like so. And there you go, there's our ready position. Um, leave a little bit of a gap with the hands there and don't have it too tight to the body. So, we've done a tension stance and bow and a ready position. Next thing I want to show you is how to make a guard position from there. Let me show you how it's done. I'm just going to turn slightly so you can see me. Here's a little exercise to practice a guard position at home. Uh, this is really just for you to learn the basics of it in your own time. Feet together, make your fist, bring your arms and your fist together. It looks a little bit like that. And I'm going to get you to simply step forward on one of your legs and let the hip, shoulder, the arm and the fist all naturally come forward. Okay, so don't keep your body too tight. From here, we're just going to step forward and there's our guard position. Don't have the hands too high. Don't have the hands too low. Don't have them in too tight. Don't have them too far forward and definitely don't keep them down. So there's our guard position. I'm going to go from there. So let's go through that again very, very quickly. Do this with me. Please make sure you do this at home. Don't just watch it. Get up, find some space. Physically, give this a go. Make sure you've got nice, comfortable, loose clothing on so you don't get too hot. Feet together, tension stance and bow. We're going to take the feet shoulder width apart, make our fists into a ready position. And you get step forward on one of your legs. Doesn't matter which one, just step forward uh, into guard position. Just let that shoulder come through. And from here, we're now going to learn a jab strike, okay? I'm going to turn to the side now so you can see me. I'll come back to face the camera again. So whichever leg you've got forward, hand on the same side, push it out nice and straight, palm facing down, arm nice and straight, and whiz it back. If you want to get a bit more power, just pull the shoulder back a little bit first and push it through. Just push it in front of you there. So you're going to pull back and punch through. This is called a jab. So I'll go back to where we were. Choose one leg forward, one hand forward, hand that's in front. We're going to do the jabbing with, and we're going to do it together. we do five. Ready? One, and jab, and two, and jab, and three, jab, four, jab, and five, jab. You don't need to say jab, I'm just saying it so it reminds you what we're doing. We need to obviously practice on the other side. So let me show you how that works. We're gonna do something called a jump change. And this is how it's gonna look. Let me show you from the side so you can see it a bit more clearly. We're gonna simply jump, feet change positions, and this leg, shoulder, hip, shoulder, and arm, all come forward. I'll show you one more time. I'll show you a little bit slower. So as it changes, the stance changes, so this time the front leg, this time for me is the right leg, right arm, right fist, right shoulder and hip all come through. So from that position here, but this time we're going to obviously on the opposite side, whichever hand is in front we're going to punch with, nice and straight, palm facing downwards and back into guard, just going to look like this, I'll show you one more time from the side, jab and there's our jab strike from there. Let's do it together, so let's do our jab, this time from the other side, ready, and one, jab, and two and three, and four, and five. There you go, you've just done a punch, okay? Great, so let's move on. Let's now take that punch technique now into something called double punch or jab cross combination. Uh, they're the same thing, basically. So taking one of your legs forward, again, arm on the same side. There's the jab, we've just been doing it there. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pull this arm back. As I pull this arm back, we're gonna bring the other arm through and make a, what's called a cross punch. So I'm going to turn so you can see me again from here. So this time it's jab and cross. Now what I need you to do here, if you can, have a practice, this won't naturally flow straight away, but if you can, see if you can just let the shoulder, the hip, and let this foot turn. Come up onto the ball of the foot slightly here. 
just let the hip turn, let the hip go, and the arm come through from there. So ready? So here's jab and here's cross. Here's the difference if you don't do that twist. You can see the difference. Look where my arm finishes here. Really short. But if I let the hip go, I get a lot more distance, and of course that gives me a lot more power. So one more time from here, guard, jab as we did before, this time a cross punch, okay? Just fine, just put out two arms, just to get started, okay? One leg forward, jab leg forward, hand on the same side goes first, jab and cross. Let's do five, ready? One, good, and two, good, and three. So you can punch straight in front of you, four. And again, one more time, jab, cross, from there. Quick jump change, front leg, front hand, jab, and cross again. Quick demonstration from the side. Jab, cross, you can see how that arm is extended. So I'm here again, one, pushing through, two, and again, three, good, four, let that arm stretch, and five, and back to guard. Great, there we go. We've covered very quickly, quick recap, an attention stance, a bow, a ready position. We've shown you how to make a fist, thumb on top. We've shown you how to make a guard position. Showing you how to make a jab strike and a jab cross combination. Let's now have a go at palm strike. So this time I want you to take your fist and I want you to open the hands up. So we're going to open the hands up, squeeze things together. You can even just bend them slightly at the top, that gives you a bit more strength in the fingers. Take your thumb to the side, okay? Not across, not going to get it in the way. Thumb to the side. And we're going to use this bit here. This is the palm strike, it's a push forward. So it would strike towards the opponent. Now we only use apparatus. We use hand pads, spongy pads to hit. We don't hit each other. Um, and we also practice to the air as well, so we're nice and safe. You can practice at home. And don't forget, you're still watching this but not taking part. Get up, give it a go. Make sure you do this video. It's important you physically do it as well as watch it. Squeeze things together, thumb to the side. What we do from here, from guard position. We've just done a jab cross. And this time we're gonna to get to do exactly the same motion this time with an open hand. So here it was before, let me show you from the side. Jab, cross, you can see how I've extended that shoulder this time. Open hands up, palm, palm. And back to guard again, close the hands in between. One, two. This time I'm just going high section only. Punches can go any height. These are only gonna go your own head level. So it's nice and high there, okay? Let's do the first double palm together. So we can do it just on its own, or you can do the two together. Ready? First double palm, one. Good, I'm just gonna slow them down slightly so you can see them better. Two, good, and don't forget to extend that arm through. Three, and four, and five. Good, jump change. Let's have a go on the other side. Again, as always, with double punch and double palm, whichever leg is in front, hand on the same side goes first. It's the closest to you. Ready, from here, palm one, palm two, back to guard, quick demo, there and back to guard, let's go together, ready? And one, good, back to guard, two. See if you can close your hands here, ready? Three, and back to guard, four. Nice and high, and five. Good, and back to guard, back to ready position, just relax there for a moment, gives you a breather in between. So again, quick recap, tension stance. We've done a ready position or a ready stance, how to make a fist, how to make a guard, how to make a jab, a jab cross, single palm, works just as well on its own, or double palm from there. Next move, I'm going to show you how to make a back fist strike from there. So take your leg forward again, hand in the front, hand on the same side. We're going to make your fist out in front. I want to turn it this time so it's thumb up position there. I want to bend your arm very slightly. Now I'm going to turn to the side so you can see that more clearly. So there's the punch or the jab. We're going to turn it. So it's thumb position up. Bend the arm very slightly for me. If I can get you to do uh, a back fist, what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna take this hand and touch the back shoulder or the opposite shoulder, okay? So front hand, back shoulder, touch there. We're gonna spin the body back just a little bit, wind it up like a spring. And then we're gonna bring it back to the front, okay? So it's gonna go from the front, touch, spin, strike. Back fist strike, strikes around the side. Uh, don't go up through the target, finish on the target. Let me show you how that looks. So punch, thumb up, bend the arm slightly, shoulder, spin, don't take your eye off it, don't wind up right round here, just a little bit. Keep looking forward. Strike, 
and back to guard. And again, strike, so back fist. And three, if you can, come back to guard. If you can't, just leave it there. Ready, and four. And five, good. Try to avoid this, okay? Big strike, look how open I am. Finish on the target. Start here, shoulder, spin, strike. Okay, so we've got on the other side. Jump change, this is the last of our introduction strikes. Punch out nice and straight. Again, I'll turn to the side so you can see me. Thumb position up, bend very, very slightly. Keep this head level, touch your shoulder, spin back slightly, wind it up, turn your back a little bit. Keep looking forward though, don't go too far. And go back to the front there, remember not through, okay? Bring that other leg forward, hand on the same side, touch, spin, strike. Touch, spin, strike. Back fist, ready? And again, one, let's do it together. Two, and again, three. Keep the arm nice and straight, slight bend though. Four, and five from there, back to guard, good. So, hand moves we've covered there, and I'll show you from the side. Jab, jab cross. Okay, I'm doing them slow so you can see me. Open the hands up, palm, double palm. Close the hands down back fist. You've covered a lot and this is only a few minutes into the induction. Well done. Make sure again you're doing these at home. Don't just watch. Do them a couple of times. Let's go on to now three of our introduction kicks. So here's our first kick. We're going to start using our legs now. Uh, we're going to go on to a front pushing kick. Nice and simple. Uh, very basic to do. Everybody can do this one and it's a great way to get started in martial arts. I'm going to show you from the side how it looks first. Quick introduction from guard position. Now we know that one, we've just been doing punches. Let's now look at the leg. What we're going to do is we're going to lift the leg knee up, okay? We're going to push the leg forward. We're going to pull the toes back towards you. So we're going to kick with the flat of the foot here. And it's going to be a pushing technique. So it hits the person and pushes them away from you. So from guard position, it's a lift, kick, and down. You can see I've used my front leg one that's going to be closest to the camera, or closest to me if you're looking towards me, or closest to your opponent. You can also see how the arms come forward as we looked at before with the guard. So it's lift, it's kick, and it's down. So push forward, okay? Let's do the first one with you. Ready? And one, and push forward. Pick the knee up if you can to walk where your belt roughly would be here or in line with your hip. And two, lift, kick, and down. Good. And three, I'm just going to slow it down a little bit so you can see it. Ready? Four. Good, and five. Okay, when you do it, so you can go as fast as you can. Try and keep your balance, and don't forget your guard if you can. Jump change. We're now gonna go off the other leg. Then we get to keep that guard up. So I'm gonna turn so you can see me again. From here it's lift, kick, and down. Foot, as you can see, the toes pointed up. The toes are pulled back towards me. We're not pointing the toes. Hit the flat of the foot, and we're gonna push forward. Think of it. Imagine you've got a big wooden door in front. You can't close it with your hands. You can only push it shut with your foot. That's how the action is, okay? So the opposite leg in front now. Let's go with the other leg. Guard up. Front leg only. Lift, kick, and down. Ready? And one. And down. And two. I'll slow it down for the next few. And three. And four. And five. Good. Front pushing kick or front kick, most martial arts call it. We call it a front pushing kick just to show you the difference between this one and our next kick, which is gonna be a front raising kick, okay? Okay, so this time front raising kick, I'll show you from the side again. So this time, this kick is not coming forward like the last kick, this kick is coming up. This is a groin strike. This time, we're not gonna bring the toes back, we're gonna point the toes. So a little exercise you can do before doing this kick it's a bit like a ballet dancer. We're gonna point the toes and we're gonna kick with the instep, the top of the foot there. So it's a very pointed foot kick and it comes up, it flicks up. A good way of uh, sort of visualizing this is imagine you've got something stuck to your shoe, like mud on your shoe, and you're flicking it off. You're trying to get something off your shoe. And it's a very much a flick movement upwards. So from guard position from here, we're just gonna raise the knee a little bit Pull these toes right back and flick. Okay, it's just very much a flick movement. Not a huge amount of power in this one. The speed is the most important bit. So from guard position, it's a flick up. I'm going to slow it down. 
There it is, flicking upwards from there. One leg forward, whichever leg is in front. That's the leg we're gonna kick with, ready? We'll do a front, this time it's a front raising kick, okay? So it's a flick, one and two. Point those toes. Three, do it with me. Four, slow this one down, five. Okay, you do them nice and fast. Let's have a go on the other side. Jump change, front leg, front raising kick again. I'm gonna go a bit quicker this time. Ready, and one, flick, so you can flick them. Do, don't need to bring the knee up too high. It doesn't come up as high as the last kick. Just a little raise. So as you start to raise, pull the foot back and flick. Flick the mud off your shoe. Ready, and one, flick. And two, and three, point those toes. Four, keep the guard up. And five, good. That's kick, okay? This is a nice easy one. This is a knee strike, okay? So what's happening here is we're grabbing somebody, we're pulling them forward, and that kick will come up. This is very popular kick in Taekwondo kickboxing, karate, which is some of the styles that we do. So from the side again, front leg again, all these kicks are coming off the front leg. We're gonna grab, so we're gonna open hands up. Imagine we're grabbing somebody, don't practice this on anybody at home. We're gonna grab, I'm gonna bring the arms to round about our belt level and bring the knee up in between, here, there. Okay, nice and simple, I'll slow it down again. Boom, there, okay, knee strike coming up. You get those together, works really well, get lots of power. Do them separate, you lose the power, okay? Let's have a go at five. Ready, one, knee kick, two, knee kick, three, knee kick, four, knee kick, five, knee kick, great. How about go, ready, jump change. We've got on the other side. Grab, knee strike, good. And again, two, and again, three. Again, four, don't worry if you don't get the grab, just bring the arms down. One more time, five, okay? Brilliant, so let's have a quick recap now, the kicks. So, in just a few minutes, you've learned three introduction beginners kicks. Front push and kick, which is a lift, a push, and down, pushing somebody away. Nice and simple, keep it belt level, below is fine. Front raising kick, which is a flick up. Okay, flick up. Front raising kick, nice and slow now. There it is, front raising kick. Last one, we've done a knee strike. And they're all done off the front leg. Make sure you practice both sides. Do sets of five, if you find that fairly easy. Maybe try a set of 10. Please watch this a few times and give it a go. Please make sure that uh, you're nice and safe when you do this. Enjoy it, have some fun. We'll look forward to seeing you. We'll go through those moves again. Don't worry, you're gonna learn these over and over again and have great fun learning them on apparatus in our freestyle program. Thank you.